after our last Texas winter, we decided that uh, we we're going to put in a transfer switch, which is going to go right there and get ourselves a small generator to be able to run a handful of circuits so we can go through the mess that we went through last year. So, up here, I've got my circuits mapped out. I've got my master bedroom for the lights, my kitchen lights, uh, the microwave, uh, the pellet stove that we've recently installed that's uh, on the same circuit as my daughter's bedroom, the refrigerator, and the uh, living room lights, uh, and the TV. Uh, so in the event of a power outage like we had last year, uh, not only will we have some, some lights on, we'll have the ability to, to warm some food up and keep, uh, keep stuff in the fridge cool. Uh, the uh, living room uh, that has the TV on it and the Wi-Fi router, which is satellite, is uh, on the uh, microwave circuit. So we'll have the ability for internet if it's up and running. Uh, and most importantly, the, uh, the new pellet stove that we recently installed. Uh, we went without heat for about two weeks, coming off for about half hour every six or eight hours. Uh, it wasn't enough to keep the, uh, keep the house warm at all. We were afraid of the water pipes freezing. We got down to 36 degrees at the, uh, at the lowest, and uh, uh, the pellet stove uh, although it burns pellet fuel, it requires about 200 watts to, uh, to maintain the auger and the, uh, and the blower on it. I could have gone with a, uh, uh, you know, a backup like for a computer or could have done an uh, inverter off of a battery, but this uh, uh, financially made more sense and gave us the ability to, uh, to run more circuits. So uh, that's what the, uh, what the plan is. Just got this this morning. Put, uh, put oil and fuel in it. I'm uh, running it for about an hour, and then I'm going to drain the oil out and put uh, fresh oil in it just to get any shavings and anything out. But uh, anyways, that's the plan.